What is up guys? Today we have yet another Mac Pro video. So as you can see in front of us we have an MPX module for it and this is actually the AMD Radeon Pro W5700X graphics card. So the RX 580, which is pretty much what it is, the Radeon Pro 580X in my Mac Pro was doing the job but I like being closer to overkill rather than adequate so that's why we're doing this. Let's go ahead and open her up. Even the packaging for the graphics card is nice. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. And I just realized there's a pull tab. Oh well. All right, so we even get a quick start guide for our graphics card, which is kind of interesting. Leave it to Apple to do that. But uh, yeah, this looks like regulatory info. The MPX module in here. Go ahead. Oh, interesting. That is a super neat box design. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and take it out. Here she is, wrapped in nice plastic. You can see we have a cover here. This actually, eh, I don't think it has anything in it. Interesting. Let me go ahead and put this over here, move the box out of the way, then we'll unwrap our MPX module here. Take it out, boom, here she is. So if we stick this right here. There it is. It is four slots wide instead of two, like the Radeon Pro 580X. You can see here is the branding there. Takes up four PCI slots and has a bunch of Thunderbolt 3s and an HDMI on it. Then you can see here's our MPX slot. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in, so let's go ahead and get the Mac Pro on the table and we will we will get this show on the road. All right, here's our Mac Pro. As you can see towards the bottom, we have our double two slot Radeon Pro 580X, and we're gonna be swapping her out. So first off, we have to take away these two plates on each side, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So with that, we just have to make sure our PCI latch is unlocked. As you can see, she is, because I forgot to do it last time when I put the USB card in. So all we should have to do is push this guy out, and boom, card comes right out. So there we are, there's our 580X. Without further ado, let's go ahead and put the 5700X in. Slide this baby in. There we go. That took quite a bit more force than I anticipated it would, but that is about it. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is so scratchy. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, that is about it. We are going to go ahead and put the cover back on, and we will slide it in. And ooh, I forgot the finishing touch. Boom. There we go. Now we're ready. All right. As you can see, she's back on the desk. We'll go ahead and go into the system properties. It booted right up, but it did asked me to do a firmware update before I put the, uh, or once I booted up the first time, but boom, there you go. <clears throat> if we zoom in here, you can see that we now have the Radeon Pro W5700X. So of course it has, whoops, it has twice the video memory at 16 gigabytes. It also is based on the newer RDNA architecture rather than the 580X, which is basically just an RX 580. So being that card is now three years old. Anyways, <clears throat> should have a quite a bit more graphics horsepower with this guy. And if we go over here to the PCI card, you can see that it now shows the proper uh, card there. So pretty cool. With that out of the way, that is going to be pretty much it get a new graphics card in the Mac Pro. Now with that said, I think I'm pretty much done for a while. This thing is pretty awesome now, and so I don't see me having to do anything else to it. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.